द डॉक्ट्रीन ऑफ मेंटलिज्म अकॉर्डिंग टू भगवान श्री रामना महर्षि द यूनिवर्स इज ओनली एन आइडिया इट इज़ द हार्ट दैट टेक्स ऑल दीज फॉर्म्स दैट इज कॉल्ड द विटनेस वेर इन नो ईगो और सेंस ऑफ पर्सनैलिटी रिमेन्स अपार अ ग्रेट तमिल सेंट वॉज ओल्ड एंड डेक्रिप्ट येट ही बिगैन टू ट्रैवल टू माउंट कैलाश अनदर ओल्ड मैन अपीयर्ड ऑन द वे एंड ट्राई टू डिसुएड हिम फ्रॉम द अटैम्प्ट सींग दैट इट वॉज डिफिकल्ट टू रीच देयर अपार वॉज ऑब्सटिनेट द स्ट्रेंजर दैन आस्ट हिम टू टेक अ डिप इन द टैंक क्लोज बाय appear did so and found kailash then and there where did this happen in tiruvayar a place 9 miles from tanjore if renuvayar be truly kailash it must appear so to others also but apar alone found it so similarly other places of pilmigrage in the south are said to be abodes of shiva devotees found them so it is true from their stand points everything is within there is nothing without the spirit is wrongly identifying itself with the gross body the body has been projected by the mind the mind itself has originated from the spirit if the wrong identification ceases there will be peace and permanent unbroken bliss life is existence which is yourself that is life eternal otherwise can you imagine a time when you are not that life is not conditioned by the body and you wrongly identify your existence with that of the body you are life unconditioned these bodies attach themselves to you as mental projections and you are afflicted by i am the body idea if this idea ceases you are yourself you exist in sleep even without the body then the ego arises and then the mind which projects the body exist you say that it was born and that it will die and thus transfer it to the self saying that you are born and that you will die in fact you exist without the body in sleep as you exist now along with the body also the self can exist apart from the body the i am the body thought is ignorance that the body is not apart from the self is therefore knowledge the body is a mental projection the body thought is a distraction from the self for whom is the body or birth it is not for the self the spirit it is for the non self which imagines itself separate just as a miser keeps his treasures always with himself and never parts with them so the self safeguards the vasnas in that which is closest to itself that is within the heart the heart radiates vitality to the brain and thus causes its function the vasnas are enclosed in the heart in their subtlest form and later projected on the brain which reflects them with high magnification this is how the world is made to go on and this is why the world is nothing more than a cinema show the world is not external the sense impressions cannot have an outer origin the world can be cognized only by consciousness the world doesn't say it exists it is you who say it exists it is your impression yet this impression is not unbroken in sleep the world is not cognized it exists not for a sleeping man therefore the world is the result of the ego find out the ego its source is the final goal the world is a result of your mind know your mind the world is only a phenomena appearing on that pure consciousness pure consciousness is itself unaffected the universe is like a painting on a screen 
that which rises and sinks it made up of what it rises from the finality of the universe is the self devotee asked does the realized sage see the world bhagwan said yes but his outlook differs cinema pictures move but go and try to hold them what do you hold only the screen let the pictures disappear what remains over the screen again so also here even when world appears the gyani sees it only as a manifestation of the self there is only one mind functioning through the five senses there is a power working through the senses the work of the senses begins and ends there must be a substratum on which their activities depend a single substratum the gross body is only the concrete form of the subtle stuff the mind devotee asked i may not be able to return here and request bhagwan's grace bhagwan said where are you going you are not going anywhere even supposing you are the body has your body come from lucknow to tiruvannamalai you had simply sat in the car or one conveyance or another and it had moved and finally you say that you have come here the fact is that you are not the body the self doesn't move but the world moves in it you are only what you are there is no change in you so even after what looks like departure from here you are here and there and everywhere the scenes along change all scriptures are only for the purpose of investigating if there are two consciousnesses everyone's experience proves the existence of only one consciousness there is only one consciousness but we speak of several kinds of consciousness as body consciousness self consciousness etc without consciousness time and space do not exist they appear in consciousness it is like a screen on which these are cast as pictures and move as in a cinema show the absolute consciousness is our real nature devotee asked from where do these objects arise bhagwan said just from where you are rise the subject comprehends the object also the one aspect is an all comprehensive aspect see yourself first and then see the objects what is not in you cannot appear outside the cinema illustration you are the screen the self has created the ego the ego has its thought which are displayed to the world like cinema pictures those thoughts are the world but in reality there is nothing but self these are all projections of the ego what is real can never become unreal and vice versa the world becomes unreal in sleep hence it never did possess reality but being the i always exist hence it is always real kam swera sarmas query to bhagwan shri ramna maharishi you endorse the maya teaching but i cannot reconcile my feeling of this chair's reality with your assertion of its unreality maharishi answered the root of your difficulty lies in the confused common link of two separate ideas into one the i and the body when you are aware of the chair it is the thought subsequent to the primal one i am the body the later is the substratum of all your thoughts of world experience it arises first then only can they come hence when it fails to arise as in deep sleep the world experience also fails to enter your consciousness now of these two ideas the i thought is the enduring one whereas the body thought is a transit one this is shown by dreams where you still have the sense of i but not awareness of physical body thus all your bodily experiences and the world experiences which are linked up with them are nothing else than what enters your mind this is what i mean 
when i say that the mind is nothing but thoughts the i is the only real being because it is the only durable one find it after stopping the thoughts hari om tat sat